welcome. Now, today we're going to do the power amplifier side of the uh, Zig Boombox project. And to be honest, it's going to be fairly easy. I mean, I've built like a power amplifier before, a crude one in the past. When I first started my channel like about five years ago or something like this. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I proved to myself that I can freaking build one. But uh, just to make things a bit more efficient, I've decided to use the TDA uh, 7297. Uh, or as I like to call it, TADA 7297, which is mostly like a complete amplifier. It needs very little uh, external components. And uh, yeah, it's uh, 15 watts RMS per channel. So it's like a dual amplifier here, so it's stereo. So let's build this on the breadboard and uh, you know see how it sounds, if it sounds nice and stuff. And then uh, we'll finalize it and build it on the uh, metrics board. Before continuing, I wish to say many thanks to those of you who support me. Passionate content creation is tough and your support means more than you know. Please consider supporting me by hitting that like button. Also do subscribe if you haven't done so, not forgetting that bell icon or you won't be notified. Also don't forget that I'm on Patreon if you wish to support me there. And also follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Also don't forget to check out PCBWay if you're looking for custom PCBWay circuit building. I checked out their PCBs and found them to be of excellent quality, and I'm indeed considering them for a future project sometime. And judging by just how surprisingly fast the goodie box with their PCBs got to me, I know they have a fast service. There is literally no way this is going into this breadboard without screwing up the freaking pins here. <laughs> so let's just use um, alligator clips. On it because I don't, there's really not that much you need to connect to be honest. So, so the circuit which I've chosen to use is pretty much the one in the data sheet itself. You know, it's very simple, it just needs four capacitors here, those two, and those two, and just two speakers, and that's pretty much it. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's give it a go and let's see what it's like. Okay, so that is the decoupling and the filter. That power goes in here, comes out of here for the uh, chip, and that's 100 nanofarads, and this is 470 microfarads. So they, these are 220 nanofarads. These uh, zaituna, <laughs> zaituna, they're as in olives. <laughs> it's really cool, olives in Arabic and in Spanish, a zaituna. So these are going to be the DC blocking. The input. So that's most of the circuit done. We just need to connect everything to this top. Which, to be honest, the pinouts are quite symmetrical. Um, output one, output two, input one, input two, uh, VCC, VCC. You can tell these are like two separate parts of the um, you know the dual thing. And of course, this is sound ground. I think I'm assuming that's sound ground or audio ground, and it's power ground, which I've tied together here. Okay, this just feels like it's going to be ridiculously cramped, so what do I do here? Should we just build a freaking thing? Since it's so freaking simple, let's just forget the fifth half and just build the darn thing. It's only a few components. It's just extra time wasted. If it doesn't work, I'll make it work. What a freaking pain this IC is to get in because it's not aligned with the holes on the matrix board. It really is a pain. It took me a while. Just make sure none of the legs are shorting. Created a track. 
Normally I just use the component like that. I'd run out of that, so never mind. <laughs> Got tons of solder anyway. Okay, so both uh, inputs, input 1 and 2, are connected to this screw terminal here. Let's connect VCC together, which is pins 3 and 13. So, 1, 2, 3. So I tried this and it didn't work, and I think I was looking at the wrong um, circuit diagram on the datasheet. Uh, the pins 6 and 7, which are standby and mute, they actually need to be connected to a voltage divider here. I've added you know, additions to the circuit, and you know, let's try that now. I know I couldn't do it on the breadboard, <laughs> I tried it on the actual built thing and it didn't work, but hey, as, as I said, I'll make it work. So yeah, let's create that voltage divider, so we need two 47k resistors and 10 microfired. Okay, so now I've added the voltage divider part of the circuit, that part here. Let's test it now before there was literally no sound or not even any signs of powering up happening. So let's just hope it works now. Okay, so that's one speaker output. Let's connect you to this. Speaker boxes. Here, right here. The power is connected here to my bench power supply and the input. I'm not going to connect the input just yet. I'm just going to see if it reacts. Starting with lower voltage. I hear something. Okay, let me touch the input. Yes, it works. Let's take it to 14 volts and stick some music into it. Okay, so I've just connected, you know, Walkman. Okay, volume needed to be freaking down. Shy. <laughs> Darn it, I hope I haven't damaged anything. Ow, that was painful. Okay, of course, this is on max volume, by the way. This is why it's doing this. It needs, you know, obviously there's going to be a volume um, control. Before it, it enters the circuit, there's going to be a, yeah. Oh my goodness, everything's vibrating. Maybe the mini display will be easier on the speakers. They just have to stress them out by giving them stupid amount of bass. <laughs> Every time you play and press stuff. This is working good. Try this one on the base. Okay, I'm starting to like how this sounds. I'm happy with that. Oh, that sounds so good. This, the power on, uh, amp is done for the speakers. 
Fantastic! And now I can start doing the headphone amp and stuff like this, you know, on this very same board. <laughs> Happy! Okay, so the rated power on this is 30 watts, on these speakers, that is. Uh, but the maximum power, it says 50 watts, which I, to be honest, I don't even take note of. That's like PMPO. This is peak. So basically it's like saying the fastest speed of a freaking shopping trolley. You know, if you kind of just like <laughs> roll it off a cliff and go the fastest. But it's flat at the bottom, so that's not what they tell you. <laughs> Anything could be fast if you do that to it. But what I mean is... <laughs> I've not tried that. I've not tried rolling a freaking shopping trolley off a cliff, by the way. But it sounds a little bit like fun as long as no one's at the bottom. <laughs> anyway, 30 watts is the rated power on these. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it sounds amazing. I cannot wait to assemble this and, you know, for all this to sound. So do make sure you subscribe for um, more updates on this uh, project, which is actually starting to get really exciting now. So yeah, do hit that subscribe button and also the uh, bell icon next to it is a must or else you won't know about my videos. <laughs> you won't be notified at all. Thanks to YouTube. But yeah, thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below and again, yes, do subscribe. And uh, yeah, big thanks to my patrons and uh, you know, for now, I will say adios until next time. Many thanks to all my patrons for supporting my channel, especially to my huge supporters and top tier patrons. Electron Skip UK, Axel Dominator, Robert Minnis, Rich Corbut, Bohen Wayne Mitchell and Chris Sablansky. Do see the video descriptions below to check out my patrons websites and YouTube channels. Adios!